Hi, I'm Chris Cordes, Vice President of Publishing at Northwestern Publishing House. Easter changes everything. When Jesus rose from the dead, everything He and His Father had planned suddenly took on guaranteed attainability, not just guaranteed forgiveness and life, but an eternal living that starts already in your lifetime here on earth. And He had great plans for His post-Easter people. Did you know one of Jesus' deepest wishes was unity among His believers? In John 14 to 17, that's across four chapters, Jesus explained to His disciples His heart's desire for the future of all His believers. Again and again, He mentioned the unity, the connectedness, the peace, the oneness He wants them to have, certainly with Him and His Father, but also with each other. He even prayed to His Father for it, that they may be one as we are one. Imagine that, the inseparable unity, the unfathomable love between the Father and the Son, and Jesus craves for such complete unity between us. It's something many Christians rarely experience, usually not in the workplace, but also not in the home or even in their church. As a religious publisher anchored in the resurrected Christ and also buoyed up by the pure Word of God, NPH gets to provide resources that teach pure Bible truths. Now, what does that have to do with the subject of post-Easter unity? Well, it starts with something Jesus once said about truth. In that same prayer to His Father, Jesus pleaded, Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Jesus was envisioning people learning about God's laws and their sins, about God's heart and what His love did in sending Jesus as our great Deliverer, and about what a resurrected Savior has to do with being born again. In that truth, we would be set apart for God and discover the joys of being His children. That sanctifying truth would then be like a faucet with the fresh water pouring into our hearts and pouring out in godly living. And like a boat floating on a river that grows as it goes, we get to travel along the growing experience of His great plans for us, our families, our churches, and others. And that includes His plan for unity. The more of Jesus' truth you know, the more connectedness you have with others who are also holding to His truths. More truth means more unified hearts and minds. The goal is to be perfectly united in mind and thought, agreeing together over what God expresses in His Word. It's what improves unity in the home and in the church, and even starts pulling church bodies closer and closer. What Jesus craved for all His believers results from listening to His Word. This is why God urges, let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly. Like a marvelous meal set out on a table and then the lights turn on so you see it, Jesus' truths open our eyes so you can feast on all His good blessings, including unity and truth and love. And it's Easter that ushers you into the room. By sharing truthful, quality materials for spiritual growth, NPH gets to be part of Jesus' deep wish for unity and truth and love among His post-Easter followers. Thank you for letting NPH be your resource for Jesus' truth. Happy Easter!